Hello, hello everyone. Happy Black Friday week with Diamond Art Club and welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you are new here, hey, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing and if you are back, of course, welcome back. Today I am here with another sneak peek for Diamond Art Club's Mountain of Black Friday releases. I don't know if you guys have seen the previews that they've been putting up on uh, both Facebook and Instagram. They've been different reviews on each. Um, they are not pulling any punches, you guys. We are going to have a hundred releases coming out on Black Friday from Diamond Art Club and there have been already been some amazing kits that have been previewed and so um, the one I have to share with you guys today I'm really really excited about because it is from Erica the Goober and it's called Slow Night. Here is the original artwork. I'll give you a better look at it inside. Uh, there's a there's a slip in here that'll give us a bigger picture but that's not too bad. In my opinion we don't have enough Erica the Goober uh, diamond paintings from Diamond Art Club. I love her artwork. I think it looks so nice with Diamond Art Club style. So uh, this is gonna have square shaped diamonds, 31 by 22 inches, 78.7 by 55.8 centimeters. Now this kit along with the other new releases for Black Friday, they have a different release date and time schedule than the typical Diamond Art Club weekend releases. So um, the the general release time for everyone is, is going to be Black Friday morning at 7 a.m. Pacific time, which is 10 a.m. Eastern time. Now, if you are in the diamond tier and only the diamond tier, unfortunately, Ruby is not included in this particular early release, but diamond tier gets an extra early release beginning at 9 p.m. Pacific time um, on Thursday night. So Thanksgiving, after you're stuffed full of turkey, <laughs> if you're in the States, um, it's 9 p.m. Pacific time. Time, and then midnight, technically midnight Friday for Eastern time. So, um, you know, you can grab these before you, before you go to bed that night, I guess. If you want to have some company and uh, join my friends Jacqueline and Lindsay and I for our annual official countdown live stream, we're going to start around two hours before the diamond early release time. And I'll have that link added to the description box of this video is here pretty soon. Um, I'd love for you to join us and just do all the shopping and have tons and tons of fun. So we always get up to shenanigans. So anyway, let's get back to this though. So the box itself, we're gonna have some blue branding here. That's uh, what you'll see with Diamond Art Club Square Drill Kits. On the back, there's some information about how to diamond paint and then what your kit contents are going to be. And then there is a discount code on the side. Um, however, Diamond Art Club is likely going to be running a really good Black Friday specific special. Now they are running one um, this week leading up to Black Friday, but <clears throat> my guess is that's not going to be what they're actually running on Black Friday itself. I don't have any insider info on that in particular. I'm just going off of what past years have looked like. So that discount is likely going to be better than this discount code. Um, but if you're watching this in the future, I'm thinking of making your very first purchase from Diamond Art Club and you want to save 20% off your first purchase. I do have a discount code you're welcome to use. It's just my name, Katie, K-A-T-I-E, and the number 20. And it is an affiliate code, so I may make a small commission, so do not feel obligated. Uh, but thank you in advance if you choose to use it. That always goes straight back into my channel and the content I'm creating for you guys. So uh, included, you're going to have this toolkit that's going to have everything you need to do your diamond painting. I have just done diamond paintings with these toolkits before so they absolutely do the job and diamond art clubs i feel like have a few a few extra features that a lot of other diamond painting companies don't which is nice you're gonna get a pen and squishy the color on those will vary you're gonna get some oops that's like stuck on there okay i see what's happening you're gonna get um let's do this first some pink heart wax it's in this caddy and there's a couple in here there is a thin plastic cover you're gonna want to make sure you peel back before you try to load up your pen and then you're gonna get a pair of tweezers that are quite shirt sharp. <laughs> Many of us affectionately call them murder tweezers. Uh, you're gonna get a bag of baggies if you wanna store your leftover diamonds in there, you can. We've got ooh, some thin plastic multi-placers if you wanna try your hand at placing more than one diamond at a time, you can pop those in the end of your pen. We have a tray with, this is actually a removable tray stopper. If you want to use that, you can. And then we've got a roll of washi tape. The print on this will vary from kit to kit. And I have a do I do have a video demoing how, where, when, why to use washi tape when it comes to diamond painting. So feel free to check that out if you're interested. And then you're gonna get a cover minder, which the style on these will vary. There's magnets on the back, and you can use this to hold back the plastic cover while you're working. So that one's really cute. I haven't seen this one before. That is your toolkit. And then Diamond Art Club does also include 
this smaller sticker sheet, which I like to use this in my paper logbook once I start working on a kit. I like that it has the original artwork and the artist's name, the title and everything. Some people use this on the side of their box to help organize their stash, or you can find something else crafty and creative to do with it if you like. Everything else is gonna be included here. This plastic branded bag or dust cover. And then let's take a look. This, this is right side up. Ooh, look at those warm, rich colors. How pretty. Oh, I love her. Oh, she's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so real quick, if you find your canvas is wanting to roll in on itself like this, um, Diamond Eclipse canvases do have a self-flattening feature with kind of what they're made of, so you can leave it just sitting here and it will flatten on its own. But if you wanna move things along like I do right now, you can also just roll it backwards the opposite direction and that will help it lay flat even faster. So Diamond Art Club's canvases and the poured glue that they use on their canvases uh, totally tolerate that just fine. Look at those beautiful warm colors. It's like sunset colors with the oranges and reds and the pinks and the purples. I was not expecting that, genuinely. Like when I unrolled that, I wasn't expecting to see like, yeah, oh my gosh, those colors are amazing. Seriously, did not take that from the original artwork at all. And now I'm like, shoot, do I need to start a new kit? <laughs> it looks so pretty, okay. No, like really. But no, I see it now that I look at the original artwork, but I just, I'm sorry, you guys, I wasn't expecting that. That's so pretty. Okay, we'll get back to that in just a second. Um, you're gonna get a pamphlet in here, picking up from a found, the founder on the front. Some info about your kit contents, uh, your step-by-step, uh, beginner video if you are new to diamond painting. And I also, I have a beginner video that will be linked below. Um, a link to the VIP Facebook group. Once you've made your first purchase, you can join that. It's a nice resource. Step-by-step uh, -step instructions for how to diamond paint, as well as some tips and tricks and yet another discount code. And then info about the mobile app, which you do get 20% off your first purchase through the app. Keep in mind, discount codes are not combinable you also cannot do both a discount code and rewards points um i really feel like the black whatever the black friday discount may or may not be it's that generally is like the best discount they do throughout the year so i'm gonna say like save your rewards points <laughs> uh, don't use a different desc discount code just wait and see what they're gonna have that day but i don't know for sure we, you know we never know and then we've also got this larger sticker sheet. Again, it's got the name Slow Night by Erica the Goober, also known as Erica Wiseman, just in case you were curious. Uh, start date and end date. There's a spot to write those if you want. And here's again a look at that gorgeous original artwork. Like I said, I love Amer um, <laughs> America. No, Erica the Goober's <laughs> art style so much. And I just, I would love it if we had tons more from Diamond Art Club. Diamond shape square, here's the size and the skew. And then over on this side, we do have a set of pre-cut sticker labels. I like to kit up my diamonds from the heat seal baggies they're gonna come in. I like to kit them up into storage containers and then I put these labels on there. The fact they're little pre-cut stickers is just really convenient. Then the right-hand column here, the color code, uh, this system is from the DMC color code system, the DMC brand of floss, like with cross stitch. And in Diamond Art Club's numbering system though, anything under the number 150, these four here, are gonna be a special kind of diamond called an AB, which I'll tell you more about those when we're looking at the drills later. And then if you take a look at the very end of the color list, sometimes you will see some colors that have a letter um, at the beginning. Like these two have the letter Z, and those are going to be a special kind of drill uh, diamond called a fairy dust diamond. So I'll tell you all about those when we're looking at the diamonds in just a bit. But first, let's take a closer look at this beautiful canvas. So we do have their branding up here at the top. Do it makes you sparkle, Diamond Art Club. The edges of the canvas are scalloped and finished. You're not gonna have to worry about any fraying on the canvas. And the back of it is really, really soft and plush. It's, and the material of the canvas itself is just really nice to work on because it's kind of both sturdy and malleable. And then they've got this nice poured glue that is really sticky and also just really nice to work on. It holds the drills well. And then we have a color list or a legend up here at the top left. Again, all those like warm, like sunset colors is really the vibe that I'm getting. We have the same color list over here on the bottom right. On the bottom left, here's a thumbnail of the original artwork and uh, the name and the size and then 
Copyright, Erica the Goober. What this means is that Diamond Art Club has legally licensed this piece from the artist. Erica the Goober has both given permission for the use of her artwork and is being fairly compensated for it. And I'm all about legally licensed artwork, which with in the crafting world, a lot of artwork is unfortunately stolen, but Diamond Art Club, everything is above board. I'm all about it. So here are their socials. You guys, that's what you wanna follow along with to be seeing all of the Black Friday releases this week. It's every hour, every hour on both platforms, there's different ones. So uh, here's info about their lifetime warranty, which as long as you're the original owner and purchaser of your kit, you're covered under that lifetime warranty, which includes if you run out of any diamonds or um, have any trouble with like the glue or the drill field or anything like that. Speaking of um, the drill field, look at how clearly printed this is. I am seeing a good amount of what I would call confetti. Confetti is where you have lots of color changes in a small area. Um, we're still like a really good example of it. Kind of in here, I suppose. So a lot more color changes in a small area. You'll be changing out the color in your tray a bit more often and doing more single placing. She's cute. Look at her little face. And look, she's got like a little, little fairy on her hand. So adorable. We do have some color blocking in this kit as well. Color blocking is when we have like here, a bunch of the same color in a small area. So you'll be able to multi-place and you'll have that color in your tray for a bit longer. We have some multi-place, or sorry, some color blocking in these background areas too. The printing is really clear. We have a lot of what I would consider, like I kind of feel like people call like linear color blocking or linear confetti, um, like where we have, you know, you'll be able to multi-place these rows, <laughs> um, but there are some color changes in here. That's kind of that wood grain texture. But the printing is really clear. I love this background too. I wonder if that's gonna be like more muted. And there's lots of color blocking up here at the top. Guessing that color is gonna be either 310 or let's see what, oh, 3371 is what this color is. Often you'll see this symbol for 310, which is black uh, on other, other canvases, but it's apparently 3371, which is a dark brown. Let's grab, let me grab my measuring tape. We'll just see if we're true to size, just because I always like to check for posterity. <laughs> and every once in a while, there will be like a really minor error. Um, so we're at almost 79 centimeters left to right, and we're listed as 78.7, okay. And then top to bottom, we're at almost 56 centimeters, and we're listed as 55.8. So um, I'm gonna call that true to size, <laughs> not shocking. And let's take a look at these gorgeous diamonds next. So there is a sticker on here that tells you what kit these go with. So that if you store these separate from the canvas outside the box they came in, it's easy enough to match up again later. Okay, I can't get enough. How pretty are these colors? I'm in love. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we do have the drills here with the DMC code printed on here. They even put a line under them because you know what? Sometimes you got numbers that you can flip upside down. And so this just kind of lets you know, okay, this is 816, not 918. We do have three bags of 3371, which is that dark brown color I was telling you about. These are square diamonds, like I mentioned, and Diamond Art Club does make their diamonds in-house, and that's, that lets them make adjustments from time to time if they decide to, and if need be. And um, they're, really, they're really pretty faceted and nice to work with, generally. And whenever I run into quality issues where I'm like, oh no, these, you know, this color, occasionally it's the darker colors, like 310. Um, if I run into an issue where I'm like, this seems like this is a little inconsistent in size or shape or something, um, I've just sent them pictures and they're always really appreciative for that feedback and really receptive too. It's just FYI. And uh, they, they also typically give you extra so that you shouldn't run out of any colors. But again, if you do, as long as you're that original owner and purchaser, you can contact customer support. Here is our first special special drill color, you guys. This is Z951. This is really subtle, but if you take a look, I zoomed you in and you can hopefully see it, there is a really, really fine glitter coating on the tops of these diamonds. These are fairy dust, and it's a really pretty ivory color. And it's like someone just brushed a fine, kind of almost, it's not even silvery. It's like a pretty beigey brown glitter on the top. So this, you're gonna have a pretty, shimmery effect 
and I love them. Fairy dust are really my favorite special drill type that Diamond Art Club carries. So we have, I think, two in total. Yeah, we'll have two in this kit, so that's the first one. And here at the end of the strand, you guys, we have 111, which is our first AB diamond, and AB stands for Aurora Borealis. These get their name from the Northern Lights, and just like the Northern Lights, these have a really pretty color shift and shimmery effect. It's a little, it's a little more striking than the fairy dust store. You can see that coating. It's almost like a rainbowy effect. And the areas these have been charted in uh, are really going to draw your eye and highlight those kinds of areas. So that's our first day B and I believe we're, yeah, we're gonna have four and I will definitely go through this with you guys and show you where we're going to find these different, different special drill colors after we look at all of the, all the drills here. Here is our second AB 119. It's a nice purple color. Love that. And then some just gorgeous pinks some rich browns. Oh, here's our second fairy dust color, Z743. Uh, this is more of a yellow color, little straggler diamond that happens. <laughs> and uh, you can see the, the glitter coating on this one a little bit more easily than the other color. It's so pretty. I can't wait to see where those are, gonna, those are gonna go. Maybe on like the candles? I don't know. Lots of places they could go. <laughs> And then is this, yeah, okay, so we've got the last strand here. We should have a couple more AB colors in here. Got some pinks, some purples. So, so pretty. Oh, the shading in this is gonna be really, really, really pretty. 129, there's our third AB. It's a nice pale yellow AB. I gotta imagine that's gonna be in the candles. Ooh. There's our last AB. There's just a tiny handful of this one, 133. Nice, like kind of tangerine orange, but just the littlest handful and another straggler. Um, I don't know. There's probably just gonna be a couple of those in there because like I said, Diamond Art Club does give you extras, um, extra diamonds so that you shouldn't run, run out. Let's look. So we have those two fairy dust colors, um, which the first one, the ivory one, is down here there's like little lines of it here on the side of this jar and then let me see i'm going to kind of just work across the bottom there's a line of the ivory fairy dust right here and then in the candle you guys there's actually lines of the fairy dust on um the the sides of the candles if you take if you want to see up close it's this this slash line that's it. And then yes, in the candle flames, the number three, that's our pale yellow AB. The letter S next to the number three, that is our yellow fairy dust. Telling you what, I love a fairy dust next to an AB. It's a really, really pretty effect. <laughs> Over here, the lantern on the wall. Again, we have the, the yellow AB in the middle is the number three. And then the letter S is the yellow fairy dust color. And then these candles, um, we have the, I, sorry for the glare. These candles have the lines of fairy dust, the ivory fairy dust throughout. And the flame is the yellow fairy dust, no ABs in there. The little fairy here has some of that orange AB as well as some of the yellow fairy dust. And then its wings are the yellow ABs. That's super cute. On the shelf here, these jars right here, this reflection, this like where the light is glinting off of here and here, that is the yellow fairy dust color. Checking to see, do you hear my cat eating? <laughs> um, I think this over here is, was that a pink AB, the number one? Why am I blanking on? Yeah, okay, there it is. Okay, yeah, we had a pink and a purple AB. So this is the color of AB 111. There's a little bit of it right here. And then hopping back over here, let's see. Uh, these candles over here have the ivory fairy dust on the sides and the yellow fairy dust in the flames. And let's take a look and see. Okay, we have a yellow fairy dust in some of these accents of what she's wearing, including this and her maybe her necklace. This, her bracelet, those are yellow fairy dust. There's a little bit here 
And where are all those other ABs going to be? I haven't seen any, almost any of that red A. No, that was the orange AB. Forgive me. <laughs> the purple AB. That's what we haven't really seen. You know where it is that I just completely overlooked you guys? That really pretty purple AB? It's here. <laughs> the number two. So it's all through these flower petals of the tabletop. I don't know. If, I think that's probably a tablecloth. Is that number two throughout? Uh, that's our purple AB. There's some of it over here too. Oh, and you know what? <sighs> wow, I just completely overlooked both those ABs. Then we have the number one. That is that pinkish magenta AB. That is all throughout this as well. Oh yeah, all throughout this. That's gonna be so pretty. I love that. Is it over here too? No, oh, it's over here. Okay, so it's like these in this pattern, in this part of the pattern is where that that magenta is going to be that number one AB. Okay. Now I feel better. I was like, I am missing something incredibly obvious. Where is it? <laughs> well, let's check here. Okay. So in her wrap, we have the letter S that has, um, that's our yellow fairy dust color. And then just checking to make sure I'm not missing anything up here. This is the ivory fairy dust color. And then over here, the letter S is the yellow fairy dust. So yeah, that orange AB that I was like, oh, there's only gonna gotta be a couple of it in this one. The only place that I see it, oh, nope, it's in the reflection of her glasses too. Okay, I was like, is it really just in the fairy? There's literally six of that orange AB. No, the orange AB is here on the lower rims of her glasses too. Okay, <laughs> I think, I think, Cautiously, I'm going to say uh, that I think we found all the special drills in this one. So sorry about just totally missing them here in this uh, table cover, tablecloth here. But anyway, you guys, that is where we're going to find the special drills in this one. The, that looks so pretty. And I have to say again, I am really thoroughly enamored with the color scheme of this one. I was not expecting that. I think that, that is just, this is going to be such a warm and cozy diamond painting and I just I love the idea that it's like oh it's a slow night so she's just like hanging out chilling like waiting hoping that she's gonna get like a magical customer or something I love it I dig Erica the Guru's vibe so much and I think this is you guys this is gonna be a really pretty one so really quick recap again the name of this one is slow night Erica the Goober this size is 31 by 22 inches or 78.7 by 55.8 centimeters square diamonds 65 colors and uh, with those four ABs and two fairy dust diamonds this kit along with the other new releases are coming out um the general release again is this upcoming friday black friday is that november 24th i believe yes 24th at uh, 7 a.m pacific 10 a.m eastern and if you are in the diamond tier uh you do get an early access window that begins at 9 p.m uh, Pacific time or 12 a.m. Eastern time. And that is the night before, after you've had your Thanksgiving meal. So uh, feel free to join Lindsay and Jacqueline and myself for our countdown live stream beginning two hours before the diamond early release time. Uh, that'll be here on my channel and we'd love to have you. There'll be lots of fun to be had. And it's just, it's really fun to shop with everyone together and just see the mad rush right at release time. So we'll be shopping right alongside you for sure. <laughs> but Anyway, you guys, uh, thanks so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe, especially if you want to stay up to date. I have a lot more sneak peeks to share with you uh, here very, very soon. So I, and, and you know, I share lots of other diamond painting content here as well. So thank you again for watching. Happy Black Friday week. Let me know in the comments what you think about this one. And I'll otherwise, I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye.